Hey YouTube, this is Randy with my Epic 4G here again. Um, going through some different ROMs today. I've downloaded uh, about five or six different ones that we're going to be reviewing. This one is Bonsai for All, version 1.0.3. This is December the 16th, 2010. And we'll go ahead and get started here. And this particular ROM has a, has a pretty cool uh, boot up animation. Uh, shutdown animation is still stock, so nothing special there. But uh, I think you'll like the way this thing boots up here. I think that's pretty cool. And so far I haven't had any problems with uh, GPS locks or anything. GPS is working fine. I've had no force close issues. All in all, I'd say it's a, it's a very stable, really good ROM. Uh, Foreo 2.2, of course, DK28. Make sure you've got the proper PIT and modem files installed or you're not going to have any uh, cellular data service. And you you got your typical lock screen. I'm pretty sure you just all you got your standard TouchWiz interface here. App drawer is typical. Um, the only mod that I see to it is it's got a transparent background, which I actually like it better than the, the uh, black. You've got an updated market. Sometimes it takes the market a little while to load, but there's your market. And YouTube. Uh, I don't even see YouTube. There it is. It's got the new YouTube also. It's pretty fast. Everything seems to work the way it's supposed to. First of all, if it seems like... So, there's that. And we'll go ahead and run some benchmarks real quick. We'll start with Quadrant. I'm going to try to make these videos as short as possible. It takes forever to upload them to uh, YouTube, so I'm going to try to keep them kind of short. I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick demonstration and walkthrough of what the ROMs look like so you could, you know, choose for yourself and get a, get a good look at them yourselves before you had to download them because that's, that's the biggest pain is just downloading each one, trying them out, and then deciding you don't like it and having to flash everything over again. So I thought maybe this would save you a step. Uh, as far as performance goes, I'm, I'm pretty much going to guess that all of these ROMs are probably going to be about the same. Um, the only custom kernel that I know of right now is the Viper ROM 3.0.3. And we've got a 1026 here on Quadrant. We'll move over to Linpack. We've got a 13.961, uh, 6.01 seconds. Run it a couple more times. Uh, 14.094 in 5.95 seconds. And 14.061 in 5.96 seconds. So pretty good there. And last, we'll run the uh, RL Benchmark SQL. And this one will take a little while. It takes uh, approximately 45 seconds or so on a on a typical Epic, unless you've got the uh, lag fix installed. Then it'll do it in about 25 seconds. All in all, this is a good ROM. Um, it's it's nothing fancy. Pretty much bare bones as far as ROMs go. Uh, some people like that. I'm more of the the flashy kind of person. I'd rather have the wow effect. Uh, in many cases I'll choose a ROM that looks better and sacrifice performance just because people look at it and they're just amazed that you know I've got an epic that looks like this and they couldn't figure out how to how to do it themselves. So but you know to each their own. That's just my opinion. I like uh, I like flashy ROMs. This should be about done here now. 42.564 seconds and we'll go to the diagram here so you can see. Um, this is 
my Epic right here, uh, 42.564 seconds. Down here is your typical Samsung Galaxy S at 148.7 seconds. So the smaller the bar, the better. Smaller the number, the better when it comes to this SQL uh, benchmark test here. But uh, I can't really think of anything else. Um, it's a very good ROM. It's quite functional. It looks good. It works good. So uh, decent ROM. Again, it's uh, Bonsai for All, number 1.0.3, and this says uh, build number is Mammon Bonsai for All, and it says version 1.0.2, so not too sure about that because I downloaded the link to 1.0.3, but anyway, uh, there you have it. If you have any questions or uh, any suggestions, anything like that, hit me up. Feel free to subscribe, uh, like away. And if you need any help, um, look for my other videos on how to root and unroot, go back to stock, how to update your modem, pit files, all that stuff. Uh, again, thank you for watching my videos.